Hello everyone. Welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to provide a brief discussion on eye pattern. You should note from our previous discussions, we have understood that intersymbol interference is an undesirable phenomena that adversely affects the performance of the PCM system. So, if you are asked how to measure the performance degradation due to intersymbol interference, the answer is eye pattern, which is also called as eye diagram. In simple words, we can think of eye pattern as a methodology to study intersymbol interference in the communication systems. You can think of eye diagrams or eye patterns as a visual means to quickly identify whether there are any signal integrity issues before moving on to more refined analysis at the receiver. Eye diagrams can help with the effective analysis of the received data and offer both qualitative as well as quantitative insight regarding the communication path itself and what might be affecting the signal integrity. Let us now move on to discuss how to generate an eye pattern. To generate an eye pattern, we have to apply the received wave to the vertical deflection plates of an oscilloscope and then apply a sawtooth wave at the transmitted symbol rate r equals to 1 by t to the horizontal deflection plates. When we do so, the waveforms in successive symbol intervals are translated into one symbol interval on the oscilloscope display. In this diagram, we provide an example illustration for the case of a binary wave for which capital T is equals to Tb. Please note, this is the received signal and we have not shown here the sawtooth wave which must also have the same symbol rate as that of the transmitted signal. When we apply the received signal to the vertical deflection plates and a sawtooth wave at the same transmitted symbol rate, to the horizontal deflection plates, the waveforms in successive symbol intervals are translated into one symbol interval and the resulting display is called as an eye pattern because of its resemblance to the human eye, particularly for binary waves. We in fact have a better diagram for the eye pattern here and let us now interpret the eye pattern by studying some of the important properties of it. Note that the interior region of the eye pattern is called as an eye opening. Further, the eye pattern provides a great deal of information about the performance of the communication system. Some of the most important things I will be discussing now. At the very first, the width of the eye opening defines the time interval over which the received wave can be sampled without error from the intersymbol interference. This is denoted by this portion of the eye pattern. Please note, from this particular edge to this edge is the time interval over which the wave can be sampled. Therefore, we should now note that the preferred or the best sampling time for the received signal is the instant at which the eye is open its widest. So, this particular time instant where the eye is open its widest will be the best sampling time for the received signal. Moving on, the sensitivity of the system to timing errors is determined by the rate of closure of the eye as the sampling time is varied. This can also be measured by calculating the slope of the eye trace. We have given that here. So, the slope indicates the sensitivity to the timing errors. Further, the height of the eye opening at a specified sampling time will define its margin over noise. So, the best margin over noise is always produced at the best sampling time, which in fact is the time instant at which the eye is open its widest. Further, the width of the either the upper or the lower trace will provide information about distortion that can be produced at the sampling time. And the width of the eye trace where the eye traces from the upper and lower portions overlap, they provide information on distortions of zero crossings. We can understand distortions of zero crossings by looking into this diagram. If you look at this received signal carefully, we have the received signal passing through the time axis, but it is not actually zero 
at integral multiple values of sampling instance. So, this error is what actually is the distortion of zero crossings and you can calculate this by calculating the width of the eye pattern portion where the upper and lower traces of the eye pattern overlap. You should note when the effect of intersymbol interference is severe, traces from the upper portion of the eye pattern will cross the traces from the lower portion of the eye pattern with the result that the eye is completely closed. In such a situation, it should be noted that it is almost impossible to avoid errors due to the combined presence of both intersymbol interference as well as noise in the system. Well, that is about a brief discussion on eye pattern. If you like this video, kindly press that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on digital communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.